and getting everything set up. Oh, my guest is already there. She was the first one. Hi, everyone, and welcome to episode number two of 21 Minutes With. My name is Lisa Ramoshkat. I'm your host for this little series here on Instagram. And I'm inviting every week one exciting athlete. And we're going to talk about high rocks, obviously about their athletic background, about what moves them, what, what's important in their athletic life. And um, obviously we're ready to get your questions in whenever you feel like getting them in here. So I already saw that my guest is in the line, on the line. I'm gonna get my timer ready. 21, and I'm gonna get her in. Let's go. What's up, girl? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Let me start our 21 minutes right now. This is no fun, all right? This is, this is scheduled. <laughs> Lauren, how are you? Lauren Weeks. That's I'm your doing, full name. Yes, I'm doing really well. Thank you. Where are you at right now? The weather looks amazing. It's, um, so it's 1030 right now. I'm in Las Vegas. So it's, it's warm, but it's not as hot as it's going to be. We're hitting 114 today. All right. All right. Okay, and let us start. We have to be efficient in our 21 minutes, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Let me start with my first question for you today. If you could do a high rocks double with any person in this whole wide world, who would it be? Uh, well, that was an easy one. If I could, I'd do it with my boyfriend. He's been supportive at every race and wants my laps for me and lets me know when I have to go back into the rock zone so I can start the next station. So. If they were not on the same day, or if I could do the individual yeah. first, I would definitely do both. Interesting. I, I had Hunter McIntyre last week, and he's like, let's go with, like, George Michael. I'm like, okay. So he wasn't focusing on winning as much as you are, I guess. Uh, well, I mean, it would be fun, too. It would be something to share. <laughs> Obviously. All right, so maybe Lauren, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell um, our our users, our followers today, a little bit about where are you coming from, what uh, type of workout you you do to you know get ready for for the like, uh, special workouts and competitions. Uh, so more recently, um, for the past five six years, I've done CrossFit, and I never gave up. Running, so I still love to run. Never, I didn't do it competitively before. This has been uh, very difficult trying to keep up with some people who have been competitive runners their whole lives. So, um, but previously, like I played soccer, I am. Um, okay, so you're definitely, um, you know, used to running a lot and including that into your workouts. Yes, just not having myself a timer. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. So you're doing a lot of CrossFit. Do you have any um, wads you prefer? Any movements that you're especially good at that you that you really like? Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily that I'm especially good at. I love combining the different things. I like to have like what CrossFit's known for. I like to be able to do gymnastics and lifting and some sort of cardio all in the same thing. Uh, it keeps me entertained and occupied. <laughs> I guess. I see like a little rack in the back and the rings. Yeah, that's a pull-up bar. Um, there's some rings attached to it. Um, and in the shed, I have my other equipment. Oh, wow. That's good. So you're all pro. Really nice. I try. <laughs> <laughs> you're really good. Um, on the other hand, do you have any specific movements maybe that you really, really suck at that, that are not yours at all? So I'm not the best rower, which um, we've had a lot of rowing so far. <laughs> really hard, um, about five. Hours, so it's rowing's challenging. Do but you have a rower? Sorry, go come again. Uh, I said it's a great workout, though. So I definitely get a good workout out of it. You're trying to be nice to the rower. When I'm like, yeah, when I hate a workout or, or a special movement, I'm really like. This is, this is terrible. I'm not being polite. Do you have a rower in that shed though? I do, yeah. 
It's a concept too. Um, it's uh, like a metal frame. It's very interesting. Wow. Drawer. I like that. Really good. All right. So we got another little question in between. Which other sport, Lauren, would you dominate? So I would say none because um, I'm currently not dominating. What? I don't believe you, girl. No, I'm not even dominating this sport. So I have a long ways to go to I am pushing my way through here. So to add another one in, it's just not going to happen. So, so, so saying you're not dominating this one, you mean CrossFit? You're not dominating CrossFit? Oh, God, no. I love doing it, and I like to compete in it, but uh, no, I'm not dominating CrossFit. Do you have any visions or goals for your personal athletic career, though, that you're, like, working towards to or that, you know, are, like, the, the bigger vision? Actually, your Hyrox events has kind of, like, given a little bit more spark into it. Like, I have a lot more focus, I guess, with training. Beautiful. So I've added more running, and I've added more leg pushes and more balls. And I would say this would be more of a focus than anything else right now. Oh, that's so cool to hear, though. That's <laughs> like... Like this was uh, staged, <laughs> it wasn't though. Oh, it's been really, really nice to have like something new to strive for, get better at. Oh, that's cool. So tell us about how you came into High Rocks. How did you come across? And then what was your first experience on, on competition day like? I got a message from actually Henry, and he's like, hey, there's this great new event. It's from Germany, it's coming over the US. I think you're gonna really like it. I know, but I live in Vegas. It's pretty far and an expensive trip. Uh, so I thought about it, and I was like, you know, it sounds fun. And uh, we made it work. Miami was tough. Like, I got to, right, I got to race against MP, and, man, she can move. Uh, and <laughs> Faye runs, like, no one I've ever seen in my life. So it was, it was very challenging. Very I just loved it. And, and then there even was the rower, obviously. Oh, damn. <laughs> thousand meters. So that's, that's not too bad. That's thousand meters. Looking back to that event, um, what do you remember being the, the most pain in your ass that day? The sled. The I, sled. I, I didn't expect it to be as difficult as it was. Um, I'm sure many people have practiced it at home and thought like, oh, I can move this. And I did the same thing. I was like, oh, I can move this. No problem. And I got there and it, my first push, it moved like an inch, maybe. Yeah, I know the feeling. Um, so I was trying to look around what they were doing and they were moving it. So, well, I mean, it's not impossible. I'll try harder. Wow. That's cool, though. Yeah. Mm hmm. I read a user question beforehand. Um, it was it was a girl text uh, like putting it in into the comments. She asked, "What do you last eat before a competition starts?" So the day of. Yeah, like like in the morning. Let's say you know. I um get criticized this. I'm not very much. I'm nervous. Ooh. I only have coffee and like a protein bar. And I, I should eat more because it's a long event and I know I should, but I can't stop it. Like, I'm so nervous going into it. Really? Two super interesting things. You being nervous and um, like literally, like my mind works the exact other way, like the, the exact opposite way. I like overeat because I think like I need more energy. Like this is, this is my fuel. Um, don't you, like obviously you don't think the same way. Like how do you, or, or what are you thinking? If you're saying you're nervous too, what are thoughts going through your mind? Um, so I mentioned that the slide is hard, but I've actually really struggled with the pole. So until I get past the pole, I'm like wondering whether or not I'm going to make it past that part. Wow. So, I'm like, okay, I can, I can finish this. But until, and that's like halfway through maybe. So until that halfway point is, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to finish or not. Well, but that's super interesting about high rocks, right? Like you, you think you're gonna die in this workout or in this in this kilometer, and then you just keep on going, and it kind of works. Yeah, I mean, eventually, you so like you feel really, 
really down or it's really hard at one yeah. point, you move on to the next stage and you're better at it. So you have a little bit of more energy and then you might find something else hard and you're back down again and a lot of ups and downs yeah definitely but i want to uh, ask one more question about you being nervous that was so interesting um if like you're crushing this virtual championship obviously it's just amazing and you seem to be working out a lot obviously and then going into that um competition or like on on race in the morning you get nervous how do you focus how do you go or get yourself into the zone to, you know, perform as well as they obviously do? Uh, this one's actually been a little bit easier because I'm in, like, the comfort of my home. And I get to add with me basically every time. So friends doing it with me. And it's, like, kind of on your time. So it's not as nerve to do this one. But then let's go back to race day. Do you have like a, a certain routine or um, a technique or something that helps you to come down to get into the zone or to maybe eat the, the last protein bar so you have at least something <laughs> in the stomach? Um, so I, I like to use the machine before I go. I just do everything you know, I have control over to be ready and prepared. Um, Interesting. Machine and anything else is out of my control there's nothing I can do about it what about your self-talk when you're like when the competition already started that's for me such a big thing like when I'm dead dead and I do have to go back onto the track I just go like okay like one step after the other okay all right okay or I just like focus on someone else in front of me and go like okay just don't lose sight or something what's your self-talk in order to keep going I uh, remind myself I go to slow hard um, but I remind myself that after that's over, it's not so bad. That's so, a good one. If I can get past that, oh, it's not so bad. And I know that eventually my heart rate actually comes back down a little bit and it gets a little bit easier. But till that point, I'm very nervous. That sounds good, though. I, um, I'm wondering if, like, a certain, you know, routine – even like at home working out, like getting ready, preparing um, is or can be key or crucial in these moments. Um, tell us a little bit about your current um, routine to stay fit and obviously to get ready for the big final on Sunday. Um, so I do a lot of my intensity work with like all CrossFit training. And um, I have a lot of supportive people around me and other friends that want to work out every day as well. So I have a, a team that always wants to do something. And then a lot of the running I do on my own, but I don't. Um, I have yet to make those intensity pieces. So I just kind of go out and enjoy myself and get lost in my thoughts. And when I want to work hard is when I go into the gym and do short little sessions. So you guys are able to go to gyms, though, at the moment? Currently, yes. That's up in the air. For the next two weeks but right now yes we are cut in let's take one day at a time <laughs> best way to go right now <laughs> let's see um what is that was another user question very nice one what's your recovery routine though especially you know in between heavy heavy sets or you know um intensive days what do you do to come down to get fresh um and all ready for the next session I stretch every day, um, and I'm not good about kind of designing my own routine. So I follow like a program. They do little videos, to 40 minutes a day. So I just pop that on, and I'm minimum five days a week doing it, and I think it helps a lot. Yeah. Wow, five days is a lot. What kind of exercise do do these videos contain? It's, um, I'm sure it's Ramwad. So it's like a, a it's a yoga video for kind of exercisers, I guess, that are not super flexible like me. <laughs> All right. Well, if it helps, I mean, five days a week. Come on. That's so much. Yeah. Um, let's see. Piece of works works as uh, that I'm supposed to ask you why you called the killer back in Charleston. Tell us about that little story. Who and who is it? 
I I don't even know why. Uh, I know who Piece of Work is, though, and he calls me that. So I think I'd have to return the question as to why he calls me killer. All right. Well, maybe because you are, though. And maybe that's our transition so smooth. <laughs> thanks, thanks to him. Um, let's come and talk or come to the topic of Sunday. You crushed the virtual championship so far. Congrats right here. Oh. Amazing. And we have three other girls competing with you on, um, on Sunday for the, for the world championship. For the first one, we have Sarah Colty. I met her obviously throughout the, the races here in Germany. She's, she's a killer too. This could yeah. be very tough. <laughs> she's amazing. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then we have a very hard to pronounce her name. E. Pshurk. I, I think you're saying that right, yes. All right, and then last, yes, and then we got Morgan Schultz, right? She actually called you out to win, though. What's, what it is, like, tell us what it is um, about that. Like, nobody would ever walk into a final going like, yeah, I know she's going to win, right? I think the community is just so incredibly kind to each other. Like, I, I've been in other I've never seen anything like it. Like I constantly see all the girls supporting each other and posting about each other instead of just their own. So I think she's kind of following suit with what the culture is. You got her support, even if it's just, you know, <laughs> just to follow uh, the, the tone of the community. What's your prediction though for Sunday? Are you ready? Do you feel ready to, to be the killer? I'm going to do my best, but my not myself I think uh, E will take it really how so um, I think she's been in this type of competitive movement more than the rest of us which I, I think gives a lot of support to winning a type of race like this um, and she's just so strong in so many of the events and I think when she can just focus on this one Because I've, I've been watching her stories. It looks like she's got a lot going on. If she's able to put one thing, I think she'll be able to crush it. On the other hand, you're in the comfort of your own home, though. You said that before. Maybe that could be, you know, the game changer for I'm, yourself. I'm definitely going to put up the biggest fight I can. <laughs> We're so excited for that. Definitely going to watch you and going to cross my fingers for you. And Lauren, we have a little trivia going on now. You and I, I don't know, uh, neither the questions nor the answers. We're going to uh, play three questions, and the winner um, gets to give away um, a seat in one of the races in oh, the upcoming cool. season. All right? Are you ready? Ready. Wow, and I can't even pronounce the question. <laughs> Sarcopenia is the term for hypertrophy, complete muscle contraction, Maximal aerobic fatigue or age-related muscle loss? Sar uh, sarcophenia. Can I go with B? <laughs> Compete a complete muscle contraction. Okay, you go with B, and I'm gonna take um, uh, age-related muscle loss. So you're going with B. I'm going with D. All right. And it is, oh my god, obviously I'm correct. It's yeah. right in muscle loss. This is ridiculous. I've never heard of this in my entire life. I didn't know that either. All right, so uh, let's see. Now you know. Oh, people even, uh, what? Dylan knew uh, it. Dylan, you're such a nerd. <laughs> Good nerd. job, though. All right, let's see. Number two, what number is next? or right to the number 20 on a standard British darts, darts board? Oh, gosh. Oh, I have a friend that's probably going to be real. It's either it. the one, the 14, the six, or the two. So, Dylan, do you have an answer for me? <laughs> no, Dylan, you get out of there. <laughs> um, 14? I have no idea. Okay, I think it's a small number. I'm going to go with... Um, uh, I'm gonna go with D again. D is my winner. Let's see. No, it's the one. Okay, oh. never mind. The one. 
But I was, you know, I was close. It's a small number. All right, so Lauren, the last one's gonna decide who can give away the seat. All right. I'll I'll focus. All right, you ready? Yes. What is the diameter of a basketball hoop in inches? Oh gosh. A seventeen, B twenty two, C eighteen, or D twenty. I'm not even sure like how much inches in in centimeters are. So perfect. <laughs> Don't know how much the diameter of a basketball is. Um, seventeen. 22, 18, or 20? 20. 20, yeah. Um, I'm going to go with 18. Let's see. Oh, my God, it's 18. Ah, Lauren. This, uh, you know, t well, great host. <laughs> yeah, well, you need to them and close on a second. I guess. Dylan, Dylan went with B again. Was that it? Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. So Dylan, Dylan doesn't know it all. <laughs> all right, Lauren. These were more or less. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. I was going to close this already, but we have one very important question. God. What was your most awkward sports moment as an athlete? Uh, that's pretty easy, actually. So. In 2018, I went to the CrossFit Regionals and they had a handstand obstacle course. I, uh, it started with my got through those and got to the like obstacle and I just couldn't get over it. So I'm in the fans of people and other people like through it and moving on through the workout and I'm just trying and failing over and over and over. So it was rough, but it was a good experience and I got to be right next to like a girl that I've idolized for probably six years previous to that so I like reach out I'm not sure if I <laughs> oh my god but let's uh, wait did you eventually make it though no nope well it was over right there time but you had to make it across a line with your hands before you down so after I got over it fell so it didn't count wow what a timing and we're done with our 21 minutes right here Lauren thank you so so much Thank I'm crossing my fingers for you for Sunday. I will watch for sure. Awesome. Thank you. Go killer. <laughs> Take care. Keep working out. Keep going on that rower. Don't stop. <laughs> I'll try. I will try. And see you very soon, girl. Thank <laughs> you. Bye-bye. All right, homies. Dylan, I'm just seeing your answer one more time. Unfortunately, it was wrong. Let's see, homies, if anyone is in here still who would like to get that free C that I just won, let me know right away. Or I'm going to choose one, maybe from the comments um, underneath our post. But we'll give away one free seat for one of the races in the next season. I hope everyone is well. I hope you're going to tune in next week again when we have another 21 minutes with... A special guest. My name is Lisa Ramoshkad. I appreciate you being here and have a good night now.